Hey guys, welcome into the channel. A huge day for the launch of NHL 21. Had a fantastic stream, guys. If you haven't, if you didn't catch me today, www.twitch.tv slash no sleeves 12, Monday to Friday, starting at 10 a.m. Eastern. Today, we are going to go over, and I'm going to show you guys all of the team builder cards are now added in my collection. These are going to be the cards that you can get by completing the team based sets. I'm talking like if you complete all of the Boston Bruins, you collect all the Boston Bruins cards. Then you're going to get a 85 overall reward be Glenn Murray. And I'll show you all that and all of the cards. And we'll break down which ones are the ones that you should target. But this video is mostly going to be just about showing you guys which ones there are. So that way you can plan uh, accordingly when you're going into. Because there are some that just aren't worth the cost. Uh, because every card, you know, because of this new set, they're not going for minimum. You're not just getting every gold player for 900 coins. Some of them are being price locked in for good reason. Because some of these cards are awesome. So let's get into all of the team building sets in any. NHL 21 for Aki Ultimate Team. All right, guys, so we will start with the 85 overall. Steve Ruchin, 6-1-2-10, does have shutdown. The synergy, the new ability to actually look at your synergies is fantastic. Uh, in my opinion, personally, this one wouldn't be one that I would go after and target. The reason being is that, uh, well, he's a center with only 59 face-offs, which means you have to put him on the wing, and this game rewards the smaller fast wingers because you can absolutely wheel by defenders right now especially at launch and the thing is these cards aren't going to be usable for for very very long about a month six weeks um to about two months probably you can get away with it um before you're going to start seeing you know the the prime times and, and the master sets that come out that kind of just kind of dominate but Early on, there's definitely ones you can target. This one wouldn't be it. Even if you do activate shutdown, this would be a pass for me. Moving on to the Arizona Coyotes. If you complete the team builder set for the Coyotes, you will unlock the 85 overall Paul Bissonnette. I love the choice. The card, though, however, a little rough. Again, winger cards, you need to use the speed that's available, especially early on. The big meta, while it is super key in the defensive zone, offensively, it is just absolutely torching people and at 62216 he's got great size but that skating is just really hard to live with especially when you consider the fact he's got 78 endurance as well his shot is okay the power is nice but again for a winger you want to have high wrist shot accuracy and power um so again this would just be a pass for me although a super fan favorite and i love the paul beats night card Moving on to the 85, Glenn Murray. This is the Boston Bruin team builder. I actually did complete the Boston Bruins one just because I had opened up so many packs that uh, I had a lot of Bruins. I thought, hey, why don't we just complete this before the it actually showed what each card was in terms of stats. Six foot three, two eighteen. Same kind of thing as uh, Bisonette. Just too slow. Even with yeah, I mean like with the balance synergy, which is nice. His shot is great, uh, but really just not the meta that I want to chase after, especially early on. In, in Hut, I want to get those fast wingers so I can absolutely torch people. And while his shot is nice with the 92 power, 83 accuracy is rough. This one is a hard pass for me, and uh, I'll have some gameplay if you want to watch me on Twitch. I'll, I throw him on my fourth line to see what he, see what he can do. The Buffalo Sabres team builder is Mike Pekka, which I love because growing up in Southern Ontario, I watched a ton of Sabres growing up. Mike, Mike Pekka was one of my favorites. And uh, again, same kind of issue. However, he does have decent face-offs at 82. The thing you're going to realize early on is that face-offs from base cards specifically are really rough, but he does have the Thief Synergy. Synergies, again, guys, because you can actually see what they do and it increases their stats on the card, you get a lot more visual representation, which is really helping me personally. Um, actually, it, you know making it raise their value and if you can activate the thief synergy 87 to face offs which is really nice early on his speed is okay at 83 across the board essentially shot again ho-hum 80 accuracy 84 uh shot power his defensive awareness however is 92 uh which i do like hand eye at 81 those are some of the stats that i kind of look for with centerman specifically uh but this one isn't terrible but again you have to weigh the cost of what you're actually going to put in to get out and um this one isn't sp super special this is like a penalty kill third or fourth line type of card um so one i would probably avoid as well from the calgary flames the team builder we've got is robin regeer again 85 overall six foot three two twenty the dude is huge but he's extremely slow. Even with the distributor synergy activated, boosting his speed, it only gets it to 81. However, acceleration, in my opinion, is just as important, and that's even worse at 77. His shot is a mess. Uh, the power is nice, but under 80 means he's not coming close to a 
like the broad side of a barn. Defensive awareness is really well nice as well. This is a card that's really good in the defensive zone. Um, but again, you have to make sure that these cards that you're using, so if they have really low speed, like I'm talking like, you know, under 70 or under 80 to start, you have to be aware that any winger that has, you know, 82 to 85 is going to wheel past with just how this game is playing so far with the, um, you know, the the um, debuff to turning. When defensemen make their turn to turn around and play defense along the boards, it's just a mess right now. It's going to take a lot of adjusting, and his shot doesn't really outweigh it. Now, again, in the defensive zone, he's awesome. And again, when you're in the defensive zone, you want these big guys. So the only way that I would go after Robin McGeer is if I had someone like Kale McCarr or someone smaller to pair him with. Um, but again, the cost to get him just outweighs the reward. Then we've got Mike Commodore, again another fan favorite, six foot four, two twenty seven from the Carolina Hurricanes. Does come with the barrage synergy. Now again, like like uh, Robin Regeer, he is extremely slow at seventy nine speed and acceleration. However, his shot with the barrage synergy is nice at ninety one and eighty five. Again, slap shot is what you want to work with in terms of defensemen. And then his defensive zone, it's you know uh, slightly better or slightly just as good in terms of Robin Regeer. If I had to choose between the two, I'd much rather have Mike Commodore just because right defense is always going to be you know um, harder to come by than it is left defense at the at the end game. Um, but again, something I would still avoid in terms of uh, trying to get all of the Carolina Hurricanes to get this card. Um, this one would be an avoid as well, unless you really need a right-handed defenseman and you know your lefties can't shoot the puck. Um, this would be a nice pairing. Moving on to Steve Thomas, and again, we're starting to see a little bit of a theme here. Some of these older cards, again, their speed is really being impacted, and if their synergy doesn't really help out with it, the Steve Thomas card, you're just not taking advantage of A, size or speed. And uh, for a winger, those are kind of musts in this game. And 5'10", 185, 80 skating, and a shot is ho-hum as well. This is a hard pass for me in terms of uh, team builders. We've got the 81 Alex Tang, sorry, the 85 overall Alex Tangay, 6'1", 194 from the Avalanche. Completing the Avalanche is tough again because you're giving up Makar, so I don't know if I would go for it, but Speedster is on this card, so if you activate Speedster, it will boost his speed to 86. He's got a nice shot as well with 89 wrist shot power and accuracy with at 84. Again, that's what you want to look for, someone who's fast with a good wrist shot. So this one isn't bad. It's just the cost that you're going to have to do to get Tange means that you're going to have to give up Kale McCarr, which I don't know if I would do because Mick Hill McCarr is one of the more valuable defensemen, especially early on in NHL 21. Next up from the Columbus Blue Jackets, the team builder is the 85 Fedora Tootin, six foot two, and again, 80 skating shot. You know, accuracy below 80, and uh, you know, just not not really enough for me here. Magician is nice for forwards, but not on defense. Uh, it wouldn't be worth you know selling and, and collecting all of the Columbus Blue Jackets for Fedora Tootin. For the Dallas Stars, we've got Marty Turco, and I know that uh, goaltenders have been adjusted, and the stats are a lot more balanced in terms of uh, the attributes compared to the size. Five eleven is still, um, you know, I'm not a big fan of under six foot. I think that the meta is going to be six foot to six two, and there's a lot of good options that you can choose from. Um, so again, if you've got to spend all the coins uh, to get a a team builder set done, I wouldn't do it on a goaltender, especially Marty Turco. So this would be a pass. The team builder for the Detroit Red Wings is the 85 Darren McCarty, and again with heart and soul activated, does boost his balance to 92, which is nice. Um, so this is going to be a card that you would use um, if you were someone who likes to control time on attack. It's going to be really hard to bump him off the puck, but with that shot, it's just really tough to use um, because at 76 accuracy, it's just you, you need to be able to pick the corner. The short side wrister seems to be eating guys alive, especially early on. So again, just not worth the cost that you're going to have to invest. For the Edmonton Oilers, we've got the 85 overall Craig Simpson, left winger, 6 foot 2, 81 speed and acceleration with 83 agility. However, the workhorse synergy will boost his acceleration to 84, balance to 89, and the endurance up to 87 as well. His shot is a little rough at 80 accuracy, 84 power. Um, and again, just not a lot to be excited about here from Craig Simpson. So again, wouldn't uh, wouldn't want to invest in him. And again, I guys, I know I'm I'm kind of uh, you know poo pooing all uh, doing a lot of these, and there's a reason for it. You have to take into the uh, to, into account that 
it costs a lot of not only just the value in each card to do each set. So if you need a specific card, um, it's going to cost you coins. But more importantly, you could use those cards to create icon collectibles, which are more valuable. So just keep that in mind. For Florida, we've got the Oli Jokinen. Same kind of build, 80, or 79 speed. Um, with Light the Lamp, it would give his balance up higher. However, this is a card that could work on the wing with 76 faceoff. Again, you can have slower wings. You can use them, especially if you are someone who likes to dominate time on attack. Um, you won't be able to take advantage of the speed that's and, and, and the ability to take advantage of the speed and speed decrease on defense. Um, but the shot is really nice, especially if you light or get light the lamp. So Ole Jokinen would be one that I would consider grabbing um, if you were looking to build a team builder. On to the 85, Steve Duchesne from the LA Kings, 5'11", 194, has a decent agility at 86, and 81 speed and acceleration. I do need to mention on defense, agility is really important, again, because it helps with turning, and it's that turn that's killing people. However, the Thief synergy is just super useless for him, and his shot, while nice for most defensemen at 86 power, 82 accuracy, is a pass for me. Next up, we've got the 85, Dwayne Rollison. From the Minnesota Wild, and while his stats are nice and 6-1, this might be one I would consider for goaltender. However, like I said, you got to weigh the cost. If it's going to cost you a ton, maybe you ripped a bunch of packs and you have a bunch of Wild, um, I wouldn't invest too much. Unless I'm getting the bare minimum for the, for the cards required, I wouldn't really do it because it is a goalie. However... You know, glove high and stick high are nice at 84. Positioning at 85 is nice as well. Shot recovery is good for rebounds. So uh, just something to consider. He's not bad in terms of goaltenders, especially in this meta. From the Montreal Canadiens, we've got Patrice Brisois, six foot two, 196. With the speedster synergy, so it does boost his speed to 83. However, the acceleration at 79 is a little rough. The one thing I will say, though, is if he is right-handed. So again, right-handed are a little bit more rare. Um, if you do pair him with someone quicker, again, I'm going to use uh, an example as Kale McCarr is a perfect example. I'm going to use that a lot. So if a faster, quicker defenseman um, to at least make sure you can get back. His shot is okay at 88 power, 81 accuracy, especially early on in the game. Um, so this isn't a bad card at all um, if you are able to make sure you activate the speedster synergy. So one to keep in mind, Patrice Breeze, while not a bad option. Then we've got Merrick Zielicki from the Nashville Predators, 85 overall. And does come with light the lamp synergy. So his wrist shot is nice at 88 across the board. 88 slap shot power, 85 accuracy. You want to see the slap shot a little bit better than they have wrist shot in terms of defensemen. But it's not a it's not a downfall to have a good wrist shot. 83 speed is nice. Acceleration at 81 and agility at 85. Uh, defensive awareness at 79. This is a really well-rounded card, including stick checking at 89. I would like to see him a little bit faster because 5'11 is tough to use in your own zone. But again, right-handed, so his speed isn't as you know rough as some of the other ones that are below 80. Uh, but again, this would be a one that's care you'd have to be careful. It, it would only I would only look for him again if you had a ton of natural predators and you were looking for someone to use um, you know point shots with. Just be careful. This one isn't terrible. Next up, we've got the 85 overall Jamie Langenbrunner, six foot one from the New Jersey Devils. 81 acceleration, 86 agility, balance at 86, and speed at 83. And again, with the Magician synergy, will boost his agility up to 90 and improve his deking to 87 and puck control to 89, meaning that you'll be able to razzle-dazzle and deke around the offensive zone pretty well with this card, especially early on. For a right winger, not terrible shooting. I mean, 84 power and 82 accuracy, you want to see a little bit better, but it's not bad by any means. High defensive awareness as well, so he's going to be good at intercepting those passes. Um, again, this one would be one that would be on the higher um, desirability in terms of the 85s overall for the team builders, because the team builders, again, the skating makes it really tough, but it's not back-breaking early on in the game because... Um, speed is really held in check this year in terms of progression, so it won't. It'll be a much longer before it's literally unusable. Um, but definitely, when you're trying to choose between these ones, the faster skaters can really take advantage of it. And this card's not bad, so um, not not this one wouldn't be a bad option. Then we've got the 85 Butch Goring from the Islanders, 82 acceleration, 85 agility, and 83 speed with light the lamp that boosts his balance. His wrist shot is nice at 88 and 86. 
Um, and then his offensive awareness at 92, so he'll be able to retrieve the puck and hold on to it a little bit better. Uh, not bad at all. And face-offs at 82 is nice. Now, obviously, his size is a little bit of a disadvantage here, so defensively, it's going to be really tough to use him, especially at center, uh, because centers are someone that, you know, kind of the ones that you want to see to be big to take advantage of it. Um, but if you can activate the synergy, his shot does make up for it, and he has decent skating. So, again, not a bad option is the uh, Butch Goring. Um, for team builders from the New York Rangers the team builder is the 85 overall Adam Graves at six foot 205 82 acceleration 86 agility 86 balance and 82 speed um, does come with the gladiator synergy so his slap shot gets boost up to um, 89 power 85 accuracy wrist shot a little low um, but especially for a winger you want to see uh, the wrist shot be a little bit better um, but body checking up at 88 is nice uh, on that six foot frame so be able to bump him off the puck a little bit offensive awareness is low but it's not as important as defensive awareness which he does get a boost from from the gladiator synergy again this isn't a bad option uh, in terms of the team builder sets it's nothing crazy um, but not a bad option at all in terms of uh, the team builders next for the ottawa senators we've got the 85 overall wade redden six foot two 210 it does come with the speedster synergy this one um again i wish this slap shot accuracy was a little bit better because it's 77 it's rough um, but 84 speed is nice balance at 89 and agility at 83 acceleration again a little bit low something you want to see higher for defensemen because that if you get you know knocked off at the point or your shot gets blocked that's where you need to have acceleration for your defenseman obviously he doesn't have it so um, after that though defensive awareness at, at 90 is great passing at 84 is okay this is uh, an okay card, not not a bad one at all. And again, if you're looking, if you're dead set on doing one of the team builders, you wouldn't be that upset, especially if you can activate the speedster synergy for Wade Red. From the Philadelphia Flyers, we've got Paul Holmgren, six foot three, two oh nine. Again, kind of a rough skater. 79 acceleration, 85 agility, and 80 speed. Does have a nice slap shot power at 91, but accuracy is only 82. Defensive awareness at 80, 88 is nice, but face-offs at 70, obviously, as a winger. Just really not going to be usable, so you're paying a lot for just kind of a big-bodied winger. Um, again, you want to take advantage of the speed. There's bigger guys. Like, I'd rather, I'd probably rather have Bissonnette. Um, so just keep that in mind. I'm not, not really all that interested in Paul Holmgren. For the Pittsburgh Penguins, we've got the 85 overall, Larry Murphy, and this is probably the crown jewel of all team builders. With workhorse synergy, his acceleration at 90, 87 agility, 84 balance, 90 endurance, and 85 speed. His slap shot is great as well at 89 accuracy, 85 power, 90 defensive awareness. This is one of, if not the best team builder card to go after in this game. So if you can get your Penguins in order, this is definitely a card to target, especially because he's right-handed. Great card early on. For the St. Louis Blues, we've got the 85 overall Rob Ramage, 6'2", 209, with the shutdown synergy. Skating, again, below 80 shot accuracies, below 80. With the synergy, it gets the slap shot up to 81, um, but just an enforcer defenseman, not really all that desirable. Um, again, if you are someone who can pair him with someone fast, he would be usable because if you can activate shutdown, it does boost his accuracy up over 80, which is okay. Um, and his body checking combined with the size would be nice. But again, this would be a situation in which you, you need to have someone fast paired with him. For my San Jose Sharks, the alumni is Evgeny Nabokov, my favorite goaltender of all time at six foot two hundred. This is a nice card. Again, I wouldn't really recommend spending all of your all of your players and whatnot on goaltender. But again, the six foot meta I think is the play. Um, six foot to six foot two. He's got good glove high and stick high decently at 84. Um, the aggression though a little high at 86. So that's something to keep in mind. I again just with the goaltender, I don't think I would do it for a goaltender for the team builders at least. For the Tampa Bay Lightning, we've got the 85 Ruslan Fedotenko. And uh, again, just for a winger, really rough skating. Not all that tall either, like to make up for it. Does that passing playmaker, but that doesn't really do much for him. 
Um, this would be a hard pass for me. For the Toronto Maple Leafs, the team builder is the 85 overall Darcy Tucker. And again, you got to keep in mind, you got to lose Riley um, to make him. So it, that, that's what's got to, you know, you got to remember. But he does have the workhorse synergy, which is nice. Boosts up his acceleration, his agility is 84, balance is 90, endurance up to 85, and speed at 82. Does have a decent shot as well, power at 86, 81, accuracy, and good defensive awareness at 88. Only 5'10", though. I don't think I would go after him, just the combination. If he's going to be small, you need to make sure he's fast. For the Vancouver Canucks, the team builder is the 85 overall. Willie Mitchell, six foot three, so he's big. Man, that skating is tough. Uh, again, he doesn't have a good enough shot to make up for the fact that he just will not be able to skate. At 6'3", that's great size for NHL 20. But because speed is so different now, and the way that defending the rush is, is taking place in NHL 21... This is a hard pass. I like the size, but man, the skating, you just can't really get around. Uh, and you combine that with the fact that slap shot accuracy, 74, hard pass for me. From the Washington Capitals, we've got Al Iafredi. And again, same kind of situation here. He's got six foot three, two forty. He's an absolute fridge. Uh, but the problem is, is skating. However, his acceleration with the wingman synergy gets boosted up to an 81. Speed's only 78. So this is a hard like you need someone fast you cannot pair him with someone who has less than 85 speed in my opinion however his slap shot is nice early on 93 power 84 accuracy that is something that is very desirable early on because goaltender attributes you know they're not very high early on so the if you can get a defenseman that can rifle point shots you can really take advantage of people that use collapsing protect net we've gone over that in my tip video if you haven't watched it already defensive awareness though is low at 84 um, but in the defensive zone, if you want to use Ally Freddy to, to bump people off the puck, you can. But again, you just have to be super careful. I would consider it, but it's not Heinless. I would much rather have uh, the Penguins' Larry Murphy. Uh, from the Winnipeg Jets, Frederick Olison, 6-1 with Thief, which is completely useless in my opinion for defenders because it gives you the face-off. Stick checking is nice, but eh. Skating, just a mess at, eight, at 78 for acceleration and speed. The shot is okay at 88 power, 88, 85 accuracy. And he is 6'1", but man, with no speed synergy, it's tough because he's only 6'1", which is okay, uh, but just not enough. And defensive awareness only being 85, just the combination, not, not a big fan of it. And then finally, from the Vegas Golden Knights, the team builder is the 85 overall James Neal, and this is my 100% uh, top priority. Uh, with the Howitzer synergy, which is by far the best player synergy, uh, this is a really complete card and a dynamite winger early on. This is definitely going to make Vegas cards expensive, so you need to focus on this early. 83 acceleration, which is meh, but with the Howitzer synergy, gets up to 86 agility, 86 speed, and then that shot early on. Anything over 90 is nice. Like super, super important with uh, 92 uh, wrist shot power and 87 accuracy with the synergy. This is a great card all around and definitely the best team builder in NHL 21. So guys, kind of a longer video there, but I wanted to break down all of the Team Builder cards and, and give you my kind of input on them. There's only really a few that you want to chase after, in my opinion. But if you guys make sure, if you want to catch me live and you have any questions you want to get real-time answers to, make sure that you hit me up on Twitch, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., Monday to Friday Eastern Time on the weekend. It'll be whenever, but I will be streaming every day for at least the first few months. Thank you guys for watching, and be sure to subscribe for daily and the most relevant, important, fast-breaking NHL content. Have a good one, guys.